Praise the Lord, everybody. To God be the glory. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Welcome into the room. Happy Tuesday. God bless you. Welcome into the room. My name is Kiara, and I am here to give a quick word. Hallelujah. Don't want to be on here too long. Invite somebody. Let somebody know. They have a purpose on the day. Come on. Invite somebody. God has a purpose for your life. God bless you in the name of Jesus. I pray that you're doing well. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Give us some time. Maybe some people will come into the room. Hallelujah. 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 All right. My name again is Kiera, and I am going to go ahead and get started with the message that I have for today. God has a purpose for your life. You have a purpose. You was created with a plan and a purpose in mind. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray real quick, and then we're going to get right into the message. God bless you. Welcome into the room. Share the message. I greatly appreciate it. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we just thank you, Lord God, for everything, Lord God. Holy Spirit, you're invited in this place. Have your way. Leading God us in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Father God, let what needs to be said be said to your people, God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you for edifying your people, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for a right now word, Father, in the name of Jesus, Rhema, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for pouring your spirit out on us on today, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us our daily bread, God. We thank you, Lord God, that no weapon formed against us shall be able to prosper in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. We yield our vessels to you, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We say, have your way in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm going to start with 2 Timothy 1 and 9. 2 Timothy 1 and 9. It says, who has saved us and called us within holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace. So we have to know that God has called us. First and foremost, we did not call ourselves. Hallelujah. Before the foundation of this earth, God had a purpose and a plan on our lives before we were even manifested on this earth realm. Hallelujah. We was purpose for his purpose. Glory to God. He called us with a holy calling. So we are called to be holy. And it's not according to our works, but it is according to his purpose and the grace that he has given us. He has supplied grace to us. Hallelujah. And without grace, we cannot make it. His grace is sufficient. Amen. And that is the grace that Jesus has given us. We cannot do it without Jesus' grace. So if you do not know Jesus, I, I solicit you to get to know Jesus, to receive him as your Lord and Savior, because he has generously supplied grace for you. Amen. So we're going to go now to uh, Ephesians 1 and 11. Ephesians 1 and 11. In whom also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who worketh all things. So again, he predestined us according to his purpose. And he's going to work everything out. So we just have to trust the creator. We just have to trust him. He's saying, you're waiting on me, but he's saying, I'm waiting on you to know if I can trust you. So I know that you trust me, but now I need to know if I can trust you. So trust God that he made you with a purpose. And now he needs to know if he can trust you with that purpose. Amen. To give him back what belongs to him. To say, God, you created me. You created me for your purpose. And I know that you work all things together. So, Father God, I trust you. Now, I'm asking that you would trust me, Father, with what you've given me, with the gifts that you've given me, with the, with the uh, calling that you've given me, Lord God. Father God, I want to be trusted. So your character has to be built as God is beginning to do the work in you. So that you can get to your predestination that he has already predestined for you. It's already set in stone. It's already there. He is waiting on you to get there. But he needs to know first that he can trust you. Amen. Romans 8 and 28. It says. Romans 8 and 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are called according to his purpose. Who purpose? His purpose. Again, it is his purpose. Amen. His purpose. Purpose is setting forth. It's a proposal. It's an intention. It's a showbread um, in, in the temple before God. So we are to be before God. Amen. So the Israelites made it in the form of a round cake. We're talking about showbread now. I'm going to show you how this ties in with purpose. Okay, I said, what, what does showbread have to do with purpose? But let me show you. Showbread is when God told the Israelites to make it and to, uh, in a round cake, like a size, like a, like a plate. It was like a thumb size stick. He said to make that bread and um, put it before him. He told the Israelites to put it before him. Amen. As a sign of worship. And then he said to make it in a circle because it was not meant to be cut like our bread is cut today, but to be broken. Just like that bread, we were meant to be broken. We were meant to be put on display to show God's handiwork, to show God's workmanship, to show how God is working everything together for the good of those who are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. So we're going to be broken. Hallelujah. And that's why God draws near to a broken and contrite spirit. It's okay to be broken before the Lord. Amen. Because God wants all of the pieces of you. He wants your broken pieces. He wants everything because he can use it. So you want to give God all of your struggles, all your pain, all your failure, all of your defeat. Whatever you feel is useless, he will use it. Can he use it? Allow him to use you. You are his showbread. Come on. God wants to use you. He wants you to be cons consecrated just like these loaves of bread were, these showbread. He wants you to be consecrated to the Lord. Bread was also used at the love feast and at the Lord's table. So you want to be at the Lord's table in order to be used. Many people don't know their purpose because they're not allowing God to use them. Allow God to use you. Get before him and ask him who you are. Lay prostrate before him. Get in a position. Get in the right posture so that you can hear from him so that you can know exactly what you're supposed to be doing because God has a purpose for you. But are you in alignment with his purpose? Hallelujah. Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you. Plans of peace and not of evil with an expected end. Hallelujah. Also in Jeremiah, it says, I knew you before you were in your mother's womb. Your mother's womb. Hallelujah. I created you with a purpose, a call in for my purpose. Never mind who it separates you from. You have to answer to me. Everybody won't understand. And if they love God, they'll love the real you. Amen. But if they don't and they have a problem with who God has called you to be, that's not your problem. That's their problem. God created you with a purpose and you can't stop being who God called you to be because somebody don't like it. Hallelujah. And Ecclesiastes says that there's a season, for, a season for everything. There's a time to love. There's a time to hate. Come on. And if that person don't understand that, then they need to get more in their word. They need to get more in closer fellowship with the Holy Ghost. They're trying to um, lean on you to be their Holy Ghost. They're trying to lean on you to be uh, uh, the friend that Jesus is supposed to be. And that's not your position. That's not your spot. So if they don't understand when the Holy Ghost say, okay, I need to move you over here. I got to take you over here for this season. And if they're really your friend, they'll understand that and they'll be there the next season that come around. Amen. I don't know who needs to hear that, but that's good right there. 
There is a season for everything. You don't always understand, but we have to be obedient. Even if they do not get it, hallelujah, we have to be obedient, amen? To God be the glory. You have a purpose, amen? And sometimes people will get jealous of the calling and the purpose that God has on you, but that's not your problem either, amen? We're living in a time where we don't have time to waste, amen? Every opportunity, every minute, every moment counts, and we have to make the most of that. Hallelujah, to God be all the glory, amen? We cannot be being jealous, amen? There's no room for jealousy in the kingdom of God, amen? I'm gonna say that consistently because it's true. There's no reason anything that you want, you can go to your father and ask him. And if it ain't coming from a vain place and it's coming from a pure, a, 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 a place of um, just purity, come on. If it's coming from a place of purity, your father in heaven is not gonna deny you. But he is not going to give you something when you covet in somebody else's stuff, when you're being jealous of somebody else. Because he like, that means that you don't think that I'm a good guy because what I gave you, you don't appreciate. Come on now. God is so good. I love you. You have a purpose. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let jealousy stop you. Don't let offense stop you. Come on, don't let immaturity stop you. Don't let impatience stop you. Don't let uh, the enemy stop you. Don't let the lies of the enemy stop you and tell you that you don't have a purpose. God has a plan and a purpose on your life. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory. I love you. You have a purpose. Keep pressing forward in the things of God. Stay in your word. Worship before him. Allow him to come to you and give you those dreams. Allow him to speak to you. Write down what he's giving you. Write down the visions that he's giving you so that you can remember, that you can record it, that you can document it. Amen. You have a purpose. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus.